Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to introduce a new authorization object to maintain ABAP debugging authorizations. And beginning from ABAP release 7.57, the new authorization object S underscore DBH is available. You have to implement an SAP node. I will put the link in the video description in order to use this authorization object but in my opinion this is really really useful compared to the s underscore develop i think the s underscore develop is the most common used authorization object to handle authorizations for ABAP debugging um, yeah but in most cases you're not able to handle um, fine and in detailed authorizations in the ABAP debugger especially because the dev class and the p underscore group are ignored within authorizations for the s underscore develop authorization object and uh, as mentioned beginning from ABAP release 7.57 the s underscore dbh is available and you can use it and here right now by the way we are in the su21 transaction code to maintain the authorization object and of course to display the authorization object in general and its authorization fields and um, basically yeah um, you have to keep in mind that the uh, s underscore dbh authorization object is available within the standard ABAP, not only restricted to the ABAP for cloud development and it is yeah categorized as a critical authorization object of course because if you have enough authorizations within the ABAP debugger to change um value uh, or the variables um, the content then you're also able to get sap all i will put the video how to get it um, uh, or i mentioned the video here right now so there you have to be really really careful and i think what is also really important to mention that if you maintain s underscore dbh authorization object and the s underscore develop to one sap user then the user receives the higher authorization from both authorization objects. So please keep this in mind. And um, yeah, but uh, also what this authorization object as underscore DBH not yet covers um, or doesn't cover um, our authorization for debugging of remote requests, authorization to execute debugger scripts and the kernel debugging SAP internal. So therefore, if you have those or one of those three use cases, then you should use the S underscore develop authorization object. But here right now we can see that you have four authorization fields. The SWC underscore type, so the software component type, specifies the type of software components that are used for the check before a change. If a program or a type is in a software component with the specified type, it jumps in the program or changes to variables of this type are a load. Um, you have the SWC, so the software component. Um, this authorization field specifies the software component that is used for the check before a change. If a program or a type is in a specified software component, jumps in the program or changes to variables of this type are allowed. Then you have the dev class, uh, so the development package. It specifies the development package that is used for the check before a change. If a program or a type is in a specified package, jumps in the program or changes to variables of these types are allowed. Then you have the activity, so therefore you have um, three uh, possibilities, so the 02 to change, 03 to display and 32 to save. With the 02 uh, or the 02 allows the changing of variable contents and lets you jump to a different statement than the next one. Then with the 03 to display, it allows debugging in general, so 
um, uh, changes are not allowed. And with the 32 save, this activity allows the execution of the database operations commit work and rollback work. Um, yeah, so uh, please keep in mind um, those um, authorization fields and the authorization object. And yeah, as mentioned, I would like to introduce this new authorization object. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.